McLucifer in the hell hole, McLucifer in the hell hole, McLucifer in the hell hole. Hey, if you've been in the hell hole lately, you know it's been Turtle Central. The main culprits are right here. Shredded Revenge kicking off a new era of TMNT glory. Cowabunga Collection, bringing it back old school, kicking up all the retro nostalgia that you can possibly handle. But right now, we're going back to a, a very different time, 2003, TMNT. We've already played it. I think the game came out in 2004. And you might remember uh, when I played this, Casey Jones kind of comes out of nowhere. He's in the periphery. Suddenly, he's with the gang. There's not a lot of context. Come on. So, what's your story going to be? Clips taken from the 2003 cartoon that don't really feel much in but there are four turtles there are four opportunities for different experiences so i'm going to dive into Raphael because i believe that is where we will find more context for casey jones in this game casey jones i played a, a run through of shredder's revenge with casey jones which you can check out right now and i'll see you right after you traverse that lost highway. Make no attempt to reload your device. You are now entering the hell hole. We're live, pal. All kinds of technical errors here, but I think we're good to go. I'm going to try this again. Welcome back to the hell hole. Playing TMNT like it was the first time, even though it is not. I had this all set up. It was all perfect, but them's the bricks. So we're diving into a replay of TMNT 2003, 2004. I forget when the game came out. The cartoons from 2003. We're going to try Raphael. Um, we're here to find Casey Jones, but we're going to do this the right way from the very beginning. We're going to pretend that we have not done this ever before. If you want to see me play some of this game for the first time, you can head to the archive on YouTube, search for Hellhole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hellhole is one word. It's on the bottom left of your screen right now. And you will find my first playthrough as Leonardo. This time I'm playing Raphael because I am led to believe there is more to this game than it seems. Let's listen to Splinter's wisdoms, even though we have heard them in the previous playthrough. Without revealing yourselves? Too noisy, Donatello. Too clumsy, Michelangelo. You must. 
must work harder. Your path in life will not be an easy one. The outside world will not be a friendly place for you. You four are different in ways the surface dwellers would never understand. To survive, you must master these skills I teach you. Ninjutsu powers of stealth and secrecy. You must become Kage, shadow warriors. And you must never be discovered by the outside world. Huh? What is that noise? Where are those things? Whatever they are, they picked the wrong body to crash. Oh, hey! All right, we're back. What the hell are those so we're looking for Casey Jones, and the impression I get is that there are actually quite a lot of unlockable playable, uh, playable characters in this game. I wasn't aware of that. I uh, didn't get any clues last time. I believe we will find Casey Jones playing through as Raphael. I was already curious, but I came across uh, some references I don't know, I was just looking up turtles, turtle game stuff. Did I... Did I get it? Whatever. Let's go. Let's get this done. So you can see on the stage stage select screen. It looks like there's a silhouette of Casey Jones, so I'm counting on finding him. I did just do a playthrough of Shredder's Revenge, second playthrough as Casey Jones. That was a lot of fun, and I'm curious to see if we can do something like that in this game. Not that I have played through it entirely. If you do find my previous outing with this game, I didn't go all the way. I'm not going to go all the way tonight. We've had uh, all kinds of technical difficulties. I've, uh, I've actually had to restart after a previous attempt. But we're here now, getting it done. Looks like everything's stable now. So we lost we lost power for a little while. That pizza does nothing for me right now. So if you build a better mousetrap, they'll beat a path to your door. We're going to beat a path through the mousetraps. Stinking Mouser robots. If you've seen the 2003 cartoon, you know all about it. You know the uh, the more comics accurate Baxter Stockman inventing these nibbly little menaces. Mecha menaces. Going to break them up all over again. Where are we going? Easy enough. I must remember to thank some new dudes joining the Tood. What am I trying to say? We got new followers, new Hellions supporting the Hellhole, Kane Pop, Reveries TTV, X Henry Gaming. That's gotta be Kane Pop! Thank you for joining the growing list of followers. And if, you're, uh, if you've if you been around the hellhole, you know we're counting down the mystery game, the game that I spent a little too much on and uh, I'm eager to play. When we hit the next threshold of followers, we're going to play that. But right now, there's the silhouette, Casey Jones, lurking in the shadows. So in the first playthrough, which I kind of recapped uh, at the beginning, Casey Jones just kind of shows up out of nowhere. He's lurking in the shadows and then he's, uh, he's in... He's in the antique store right after that with April O'Neil and the gang. We don't really get a lot of context in uh, in that playthrough for what's going on with Casey Jones. He doesn't get involved in the action, but he is uh, he is in the cutscenes. All the cutscenes in the game are taken directly from the 2003 animated series. So obviously, in that context, we know we know how Casey Jones showed up. He uh, 
We had a chance encounter in the streets with Raphael. Raph was being cool but rude. A moody, cranky little son of a gun. They they bumped heads and then became the fastest of friends. A little bit like the original comics. This entire series was much closer to the comics than the 1987 cartoon. I keep saying 87 and then forgetting to check what year it was. I don't know. The late 80s. Late 80s cartoon that went way longer than anybody would know. Because we all kind of... We all kind of got out of it. Apparently water hurts a turtle. It's not water off a turtle's back. We've learned a lesson there. We're going to try to bust these heads as quick as we can. Find out what's going on with Casey Jones. Because I'm here for a good time, but not a long time. Certainly not going to play through the whole game. And i got to make room on my memory card if we're going to get serious about this. Right now, I just want to know what the situation is with playable unlockable characters. <clears throat> I'm hoping the game will tell me, you know, if Casey becomes immediately playable. We might even quit out, check out what he's like, because that's what I'm really here for. I enjoyed playing through with Casey Jones and Trader's Revenge. You can check that out right now in the archive. I think there's, uh, is there still time? There might be time to watch the second part on Twitch, but to get the whole shebang, two-part extravaganza, just head to YouTube. The link is in the About section, or you're already watching, in which case, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Leave a comment. Tell me what's good. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't found that, you can search Casey Jones Hellhole. Hellhole is one word. And I reckon YouTube will get you where you need to be. And from there, you can find the channel and browse through the videos, play them at whatever speed you need. Get what you want out of it. Have a good time. I don't really know if I'm uh, if I'm giving you any unique insights here, but uh, hopefully maybe exposing a few more people to games that they haven't seen, and just giving you something to waste some time. Maybe hang out, listen to me drone on, mumbling away to myself as I play games here in the hellhole. Just trying to just trying to have a good time here, man. We're having a better run this time, so I'm certainly deeper than we got last time. I am referring to the ill-fated previous attempt at this stream. Now lost. Like tears in rain. So these punks, I guess, are uh, Purple Dragon. No good street gang that has caused a bit of trouble for the turtles and caused some trouble for Casey Jones as well. I'm guessing uh, with the unlockable characters, I don't know if they're all playable in story mode. I'm guessing at the very least um, the story mode probably won't change much for them. I'm hoping to see a bit of variation with Raphael. I don't know if there's variation with the other turtles. Uh, uh, that's really not something I've looked into. I just uh, I, I just know that there's a lot of characters you can unlock here. And there might even be a few game modes that unlock. I haven't made a serious commitment to playing this all the way through, so... I might have to do that if I want to get some of those extras. That's something we could certainly do. Let me know in the comments if you think that's the kind of thing I should be doing playing myself to get a full run through this game. I think we uh, we bombed out somewhere in the nano levels last time, so I don't actually know how far that is. I, I don't think it's actually very far at all. Um, see how we do here. <clears throat> it, it looks like we're going to get get the Casey Jones question answered pretty quick. So that's that's good. That's what I'm here for. Got to deal with this guy with the lead pipe. Don't much care for him. Was 
I said, all of this is based on the 2003 cartoon, which I would consider the best Ninja Turtle cartoon there is. Um, I think it strikes a good balance between levity and, and drama and action. Uh, you get to see the turtles actually use their weapons, which is a, a novelty if you if you grew up with the if the you grew up with the eighties and early nineties series where um, where it wasn't a given that weapons would be used. A lot of shortcuts taken on that show. A lot of dodgy dodgy animation, dodgy stories, limited animation, repeating gags, you know. This is the this is the show that I think gives a more authentic impression of what the turtles are. The turtles are a comic book first and foremost, and this is a a slightly more faithful adaptation, although it takes its liberties. Stylistically, it has a bit more in common with the later incarnations. It's a good balance, though. I like it. We're probably going to dig deeper into some of those earlier Turtles games at some point. It's just... It's Turtle season, man. I think Shredder's Revenge and then the Cowbunga Collection has just kicked it all up. And, uh, I, and I'm in. I'm in. I feel like, you know, I, I think uh, I think part of it is, you know, I'm a comic book guy. If you know me from the comic book world and some of the things I've done in that arena, you know I'm a Marvel and DC guy predominantly. Loved the Turtles as a kid, came back for the 2003 cartoon, but again, big big breaks between Turtle seasons, which kind of gives it a, a bit of freshness with a nostalgic hue. It's been fun coming back, getting into these games. And although although the classic games are going to represent, you know, a bit of a downgrade from Shredder's Revenge and even this one, it's going to be fun to dig into those. I never played the NES game or any of those, so... We might get to share a bit of a first-time experience for me, maybe not for you. You can always give me some pointers. Like back in the day, you know, you have trouble in a game, you talk to a friend. Maybe... maybe it's school. School buddies giving you tips. Help you get past a, a difficult a difficult obstacle or uh, tell you some cheats. Tell you that there's unlockable characters. Which is kind of kind of how that went. I was looking into turtle game stuff and I I don't know, I think I just veered off into this and found there seemed to be I think there's cheats. We could use cheats to um to get all the extra characters, but I'm gonna do it the legit way. At least for now. See if we can find Casey Jones for real. You know, I didn't I didn't appreciate at the time in the mid 2000s how much this does feel like a piece of the lineage of the Ninja Turtles games. Shredder's Revenge, the latest installment of the belt scroller, scrolling beat 'em up games. There's a whole hell of a lot of them. It's a uh, it's a genre, a gaming genre that does suit the turtles very well. All fighting, no biting. This isn't Kenny Omega. This is Raphael. Oh boy, getting in trouble now. Could sure use some health. Well, that didn't go so well. Let's go. If that's health in those boxes over there, I'm going to be uh, a little cheesed off. Cheese pizza. What's that? Ah, you son of a bitch. If I just held on that little bit longer, I could have... Could have topped up. Oh, well. It's okay. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Uh, wasted. If you happen to be on the uh, YouTube channel at the time of this broadcast, you will find a Ninja Turtles Turtle Mania playlist, which will get you all the turtle action so far and soon to come. 
you should be able to find that either in the uh, in the info on this video in the future or by staying till the end hey there he is well question answered been quick to act so what do we do now if we don't do something things could get pretty bad what choice do we have let's go now if i remember the cartoon oh, easy there cowboy huh where you freaks come from what's with the outfits hey how dare you interfere wait i'll bet your purple dragon too purple dragons who are they I guess he means those guys we just tangled with. Just looking at those ugly mugs of theirs, it's obvious they're someone's goons. Look, your intentions may be good, but you're going too far. Look, freak boy, if you're protecting these purple dragon scum, then you're going down too. Ah, oh, nice. I mean, this is great. Oh, they're making it pretty easy too. I guess they want you to get your Casey Jones in. I had to I had to beat the whole Shredder's Revenge game. And this one, a little bit kinder. Casey Jones is a more integral part of the 2003 show. I was a kid. Some young punks were shaking my dad down for protection money. They were purple dragons. You tell your old man, punk, next time pay up or else. So I dig that. That's a, that's a nice nice way to deal with it. So if I remember the cartoon well, I think they've used lines from other parts of the episode or different episodes to, to patch the other turtles in. Because it's just Raph and Casey in the episode. I'm particularly curious now. So if Casey Jones is playable in story mode, does story mode begin differently with him? Very curious. Don't tell me how to deal with the purple dragons. Just be careful. Your anger can take you down. Make you act just like them. My father once told me a true warrior finds balance in all. Balance, huh? Well, you know, as much balance as a couple of hot-headed whackbags like us can manage. Me? You're the only whackbag around here, dog boy. I'm not half as crazy as you. Sorry, but for a little green dude, you're totally nuts. Yeah, well, I'm not the one running around in a hockey mask. Hey, I gotta protect my good looks. I'm saving his face for Hollywood. Well, isn't this romantic? Look who we have here. So you're the freaks who've been interfering with us lately. So... Friend, who is this guy? Would you mind introducing us? This punk is Dragon King, the ringleader of all those purple dragon punks. It goes without saying, he's a real creep. Any and all who interfere with the purple dragons will be destroyed. Take them all down. <sighs> So this is a totally different path to what I had in Leonardo's run, as far as I know. This looks different, at least. Um, and those cutscenes weren't there. So we're definitely experiencing new things. I wonder how much each turtle differs. 
I'm presuming there isn't this much of a departure, at least early on, but I could be totally wrong. I might have to, uh, I'll have to check out the other turtles. Or at least do some research. I think the Shredder is unlockable, which is very intriguing. Particularly, you know, I think some of these characters can be used in story mode, and I just wonder, like... With Casey Jones, how much is the is the opening story going to change? This section would make sense, you know. But what is... Is this the beginning of the game with Casey Jones? Or will he have a different opening chapter? I'm assuming most of them will have a lot of uh, similar levels. Even if maybe a clip, the clips change slightly, change the context of it. It's kind of amazing how much the series is actually included in this game. Although the context of things is, is radically different and, and obviously very truncated. If you, can, if you can find the series, I recommend checking it out. It's a very good one. Uh, particularly sort of the first dozen or so episodes of the first season. That's really strong. Can get a little bit wobbly from there, but I, I also... Um, I didn't keep up with the show. So, uh, I don't know, the Triceratons and things like that I'm not as into, although it's got its, it's got its moments. guys are kind of kicking my ass right now. That's not so good. Elf. Who knew? This one can feel a little bit grindy, but uh, I could also do with getting good. I wonder if Casey Jones is unlocked, or if I need to finish out this level, the stage, or beat the whole game. I don't really know what we're dealing with here, because I wouldn't mind just having a little bit of a play around with Casey Jones. He's a real delight in Shredder's Revenge, which was generally a very good game to play.
That wasn't so good. Whoa, hey. Come on. These jerks doing in the corner. And you share it with the whole class. I think these guys get a discount on their on the gear. They're all shopping at the same store. Oh boy. 
I presume it's obvious that the radar in the bottom right screen is telling me where the bad guys are, which that helps, even though I kind of, uh, you know, start staring in space after a while. There's a lot of guys to bust. Busting heads, that is. Come on. Whoa, hey, whoa. Come on. Not being able to mo move the camera is kind of a sign of the times. But you know, also not moving the camera is kind of um, good for the stylized look of the game. I have no idea why. Why am I in some kind of mode? I don't know. I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but I'm glad I met you, crazy man. Me too, Green Dome. And you know something? I'm starting to see what you're all about. You mean about balance, self-control? Nah. I mean, you're a green mutant freak. <laughs> as long as you figured out that we're turtles, it's fine. For now, at least. If you run into any troubles, let me know. We're brothers now. I'm just glad you changed your mind so quickly. Yeah. Hey, be careful, Mom. I've heard there's a pretty dangerous group back in those purple dragons. Don't worry about it. See you around. Later. So is he unlocked now? You gonna tell me, game? Better clear out stage one just to be sure, I think. Just to be sure. So rooftops, that looks familiar. I think we're... Let's go. Hands are popping. Come on, you. You dirtbags. Oh boy, more. I think they, they maybe overdo it a little bit on the repeating enemies, but, you know, you gotta have a game. Why are there mouses here? Well, that's just marvelous.
Well, sure. These guys chucking rocks. It's not rocks, but you know. Throwing stones, causing trouble. Gotta deal with those. Getting pretty tired right about now though. Boxes! Boxes ahoy! Eat the burger. Come on. Get away from me, you freak. I wonder if maybe they just do a wave too many in this game sometimes. Like, we get it. Let's, let's keep it moving. Let's keep the tour plowing on. We don't need that extra wave. Keep doing that. Very sloppy. Uh, I'm hitting nothing. Punching it air. Ah, uh, come on, you jerks. Just go down. Stay down. Uh, I'm getting tired, man. 
and light nights, I tell ya. But I had to know, I had to know if Casey Jones was out there. I'm glad we do know now that he is... What? Straggler? Come on. Jump on the side. And it... Could use some health. I think I mentioned before, I like the ninja designs in this version. Simple, tasteful, they get the job done, they look good. An appropriate, appropriate level of simplicity and design for a lowly henchman kind of character. More of them. It never ends. Come on, hit the target. Jeez. Eat some salmon, why not? Oh, these jerks. stage one done and I might just be about done then Stockman's lab it's really too bad if only you had to around so much I'm not sure what April's doing there Please. unfortunately I can't do that April. you see I have my obligations too uh, you truly were Take care, April. I'm a bit busy, so I'll be leaving you now. My cute little mouse will be a good thing. Whoa! I don't like the looks of this. It's even bigger than the last time we saw it. Such incredible technology. But we can't let anyone get away with frightening a cutie like her. Focus, guys. Let's go. 
Interesting. Sure. Got a little bit close that time. Why can I get that? Ah, oh, come on. Get it done. This huge arm with a weapon on the end of it kind of reminds me of the things dangling from the ceiling of the Technodrome and Shredder's Revenge and I guess earlier games as well. Can't destroy this one though by the look of it. Or if I can, I don't know how. Here we go. Giant Mauser coming at you. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Get up, jump, you son of a gun. Get my ass kicked, I need some health. That's not helpful. Well, that didn't do anything. Oh, well, there's the health. Great. How did I do this last time? This thing's insane. Stay behind. Stay behind it. Do the damage. Uh oh. That's not behind. Got this funky little dash that kind of helps. Uh, can we connect? Can we get a result here? Did something at least. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. It stinks. Ah, oh, come on. And there's the health. How much health have we wasted? Tell me that. Routine when we waste it. Missing. Stop running around to just take your fucking licking Jesus uh, this thing is uh, it's a little too capable for my taste pick a gimmick stick with it quit running around let me get my shot get a few shots in good god get 
getting cranky now. Are we done? We're done. Well, I'm glad to see you too, my sons. Master Splinter, so much has happened today. Yes, yes. There will be time to tell me all about it later, Leonardo. But first, I wish to take you all home. Home? We got no home. Those robots trashed our bed. Remember, Sensei? Do not worry. I think I have found a solution to our current housing problem. Follow me, my son. If I remember the episodes, some of these things are a little out of sequence. So that's stage one dealt with. Good. I gotta I gotta get some space in my memory card. Be good to save, but I I will have to do that another day. No. Yes. So I'm curious if I quit out. If I quit out here, I wonder will Casey be an option? Let's find out. I did this stage in my first playthrough, so you can check that out in in the archive. <clears throat> yeah! Did I mention I, I had to skip the intro. They used the intro from the cartoon, and in the uh, in the archive first playthrough I did, you might notice there's a strange little jump very early on. That's because Viacom uh, are doing copyright claims on the on the theme. I can understand maybe for the 80s theme, but I'm, I was a little bit surprised that the 2003 theme is also getting copyright violations, so I had to cut that from the original video, and I've, I've skipped it here for the sake of uh, clarity and simplicity. So, we got versus mode. I guess we'll go versus mode just to see... Have we got Casey Jones now? Maybe we always did here. Nope. Well, there he is. And these are some of the other characters you can unlock. Obviously, I haven't done that. Not sure who that is. Mm, is Karai in this? I can't remember. There's the Shredder. That might be Metalhead or whatever. That's probably Hun. Hey, and that's Splinter, of course. Oh, with... No. Is there no April? It's gotta be an April. Let's see what this is like. Oh, so you gotta unlock arenas as well. I, I've never actually touched the versus mode, so this is kind of interesting. Kind of a little extra bit of fun. Oh, uh, okay, he's kicking my ass. Wow. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see if you can get him in story mode now. Has the character select changed? Doesn't look like it. 
So there are cheat codes, and I'm wondering if maybe that's what's needed. That's something I'll have to look into another day, and if you want to find out what that involves, by all means, hit that, that follow button on Twitch, go and subscribe on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter, at T Hellhole, the letter T, the word Hellhole, it's on your screen, it's one word, you just put the letter T in front of that, you'll find me on Twitter. There are links in uh, in the information on uh, on every video on YouTube and on the About section of Twitch. You should be able to find everything you need there. And if you follow, you could be the the crucial follow we need. We've got we've got Kane Pup, Reveries TTV, X Henry Gaming. They all join the followers in between um, in between previous sessions. And you know what that's going to do? That's going to unlock the mystery game. What's that video game? It was released in the mid 1990s. It is a console exclusive. It trades heavily on the gameplay of another well known title, but pioneers all new variations. What game is it? The only way to find out is to smash that follow and reach the next threshold so that we may play that video game. Back to you, birthday boy. Now I could tell you that we're one follower away and that it's imminent, but it'd be nice to get a couple more extra just in case there's shenanigans occasionally you know an account gets deleted somebody unfollows i don't know what happens so if we could get just uh, across that line by a couple extra that'd be pretty nice and then we'll play that mystery game i'm looking forward to that that is a personal favorite and um genre appropriate in some ways i'm, I'm trying to be coy you might have already figured out what the game is it's not really that exciting to be honest this is just it's just one of those milestones to put ahead. It creates some sort of ceremony, sense of event, sense of progress. It gives me something to look forward to. I got a lot of games to play. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy playing that one, knowing though that we've we've crossed that next threshold. The twitch will not break my thumbs, my knees will remain intact, my children will remain safe whenever they may be born. So smash that follow. And uh, I don't know, we've got, we've got other stuff going on. Fall Guys is rolling along towards its next season. I'm definitely going to get involved in that. Um, working on that satellite repair mission uh, off stream. Got to get a few more wins to unlock those those chunky big gauntlets. They're looking pretty, pretty nice. Wouldn't mind getting those. And there's a, I think just before I came on, that announced there will be a season two trailer on Monday. So keep your eyes out for that. Uh, I'll probably be playing more Fall Guys if something develops. Uh, but I'm also going to be getting into the Cowabunga collection. And who knows what else? There's there's so many games. So many games. Lots of fun. It's great to be here on the Hellhole with you. Getting into it. Finding a way to play more. To enjoy more. To have more fun. We'll be back to this game, I'm sure, at some stage to see, you know, what kinds of things are available. I might I might get into the cheat codes to try to save some time. Maybe I can work out my memory cards. I'm sure I've got some space I can make it. And um, I guess I'll see I'll see you then. It's very late. I gotta I gotta get going. I can't just I can't sit here all night. Take it easy. Have fun. Be good to your mother. All that stuff. Adios amigos.